Okay, let's test our knowledge of using protoboards by connecting an actual circuit. Okay, now what we're going to do is connect a very simple circuit on our protoboard. And the circuit that we're going to use is a very simple RC network circuit. And as you can see in this RC network circuit, we have a voltage source here, resistor here, capacitor here. And we'll be checking the voltage that's dropped across our capacitor, indicated here by V output. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building our circuit. Okay, let us start by providing power to our board or providing uh, an area for power to go to our board. And so we'll do that by going to the BNC connectors up here at the top, or BNC jacks, pardon me. I'm going to put a wire in here go ahead screw this back down and then connect that wire here to the rail at the top okay and let's go ahead now and connect our ground wire to our board so put this here and then connect it in here to the blue section and what this does now once we bring a uh, voltage or, and ground into our board here it just provides that to the entire rail across the top and so what we're going to do in addition to that though is we're going to build the circuit the RC network circuit in this region right here and so what I want to do then is bring that voltage from there along this side so we can also provide a uh, the voltage and ground to the circuit so what I'll do is I'll go to that first line up there and I'll do jumper from there down to the bottom here and then I'll take a piece of wire here to bring our ground from the top and so now what we've effectively done is created a rail of voltage, positive voltage coming down here and ground coming down on this side. Okay, so let's okay, so let's start building our circuit and recall that we said that our circuit looks like this right here. So our our resistor needs to be connected to the positive terminal of the voltage source and that positive terminal of the voltage source is coming in at this point right here so what I'll go ahead and do is take our resistor and I'm using this resistor uh, to do that and I'm going to put the resistor at this point right here and in order to connect that now to the voltage source I can go ahead and put a wire into that line there with the voltage coming from the top and connect that to the, any hole in the row with the first leg of the resistor. Now remember also that the resistor, because I put it over this notch here, that means that the ends are not connected. If I happen to have put the resistor, let's say like this, all on one side in the same row, then what that would have done was actually connected the resistors together, uh, the legs of the resistor kit together, but we don't want to do that. So let's just go ahead and put our resistor back in a proper manner up here and so now we have our resistor inside of the circuit and that resistor now was to be in series with the capacitor and there's our capacitor connected to the resistor there at the top so let's go ahead and do that we're going to use this uh, electrolytic capacitor and make sure the positive side is touching the in line with the resistor or connected to the resistor so I put the positive up here and I put the negative there at the bottom okay and remember what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the voltage drop across the capacitor well, even before we get to that voltage drop across the capacitor, capacitor needs to 
go to our common ground here or the ground that was brought into the board so let's go ahead then and connect the capacitor into ground or to ground pardon me and so there we have that and then now as I was mentioning before we need to take or need to set this up so that we can see the voltage drop across the capacitor here in order to do that I can put a test point right here and I guess I'm going to have to use this really small black wire here or I can use a different color. The color doesn't really make much of a difference. It's more just for uh, uh, conventional purposes to go along with um, using black for ground and red for, for voltage. And so now what I have is two test points right here, or not, not two test points, but a voltage and a ground test point where I can check the voltage drop across the capacitor. And that's the end of our circuit right there. It's ready to be tested and ready to be taken to the lab.